The Cognitive Label Printer comes with four major components. The first of which is the power brick. This is uh, supplying power to the printer and it's got a port there to plug the power cord in. So this cord connects into your wall outlet and the other end connects into the power brick. Then you have your standard USB printer cable. One end is rectangular and fits into your computer. And the other end is square. The square end is what connects into the printer. This cable is standard and comes with the printer but can be purchased anywhere. You've got your label printing unit with a flip up cover. It's uh, a dust cover essentially, and a roller to keep the labels in place. The power brick itself uh, comes in two parts. So you insert the power cable into the brick and then you can plug that into your wall. So inserting into the brick. The USB cable, again, the rectangular end goes into your computer and this square end is what inserts into the printer. So if you have a look on the back side of your printer, you will see a few ports. The center port, the white port that's square shaped is what the USB cable plugs into. So you can insert that firmly. To the right of the USB cable is another USB port, but do not use that port. This port here is for technicians and servicing, so it does nothing. The power brick end of things has a circular end, and that is what is connected into the printer. So find the circular end and it only fits one way. You shouldn't have to force it. To load labels into the printer, flip up the dust cover and you will find two switches that are usually operated by your thumbs. These switches here will release the print head. So you slide with your thumbs the switches back and it will click and pop the print head up. You know you've done your job right when you can swivel the print head, this black metal piece, up and down. Swiveling this up and down then creates a space between the roller, the rubber roller, and the print head. And this is where labels are fed through and then sandwiched. You have a roller to guide or hold the labels in place. This piece is not mandatory, but it will extend the life of your printer because it keeps labels uh, in place and uh, reduces friction. So make sure to use that. Grab your roll of labels and you wanna load the labels with the label facing the ceiling. So the paper backing faces the ground and the label side faces upwards towards the ceiling. So you wanna grab your print roller, your guide, put them together, stick them in the printer and uh, pull, pull the labels back. So I usually roll the labels back a bit and with the print end flipped up, so make sure again it's flipped up, you can now roll the labels forward and have them pop out through that gap. You wanna pull out a little bit of labels, one or two, doesn't need much, but just enough so that you can then push firmly down on the print head. So push, pushing firmly down on the print head will snap it and lock it into place. So push hard, you'll see both switches will click in and now the labels are sandwiched. You won't be able to pull them or move them. You can flip the print dust cover back down, turn the power back on to the printer. And when you've got the two green ready lights, so you'll notice two green lights lit up, now you can press the feed button once. This will then queue up the next label and make sure everything is aligned. You can tear off from left to right or right to left. And if you do it right, you should tear it off cleanly. Not like I just did, but there we go. Got a clean tear and you're set.